All right. Hello, everybody. Just going to let a few more people pop on here. Just going to head back to the comments. Hey, Lori <laughs> and Catherine and Anita. Hey, Ruby. Well, as you can see, it's just me today. It's been a week. Hey, Kathy. So I have to do everything today. So I'm a little nervous because I'm hoping that everybody can, you know, still hear me and see me okay. Because I usually have my sidekick, Savannah, here helping me. But um, little Miss Grace is very sick this week. Had a fever and and everything. So she had to stay home and uh, pull mummy duty. And um, so it's just me here today. And I've got six staff members and... <laughs> We had a big snowstorm last night and one of them doesn't drive in the snow yet. And, you know, so it's been a week. It's only Wednesday. It's crazy. Oh, good. I'm glad I look and sound great because <laughs> this is this is what's happening with no sleep. I have now figured out why my bags are so big because I get uh, four hours of sleep if I'm lucky at night, which is just not enough. So in case you don't know who this crazy person is, um, I'm Kelly with Kelly's Bee Boutique. And uh, thank you for joining me today. So. We have all kinds of, uh, I always say we now, because there's usually two of us, but you know, I'll use the royal we. It's just me. Um, I have all kinds of things to do today. It's going to be kind of noisy because normally I have Savannah handing me things and you know, all that kind of stuff, but we'll make it work. So, hey, Rosie from Montreal and Barbara and Kathy and Pamela. Well, thank you everybody for joining me. I do appreciate it. So it has, there's been a lot going on lately, right? With um, American Thanksgiving and uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all that stuff. And I'm glad it's all over because it's just a lot as a business person to try and keep up with all of that stuff. So anyway, we, I think I mentioned on last week's show that um, we just got in, I don't know how many shipments, maybe four or five huge shipments. And uh, the only good thing with it being a little quiet and with having my staff not here is I'm able to stay in my office and hunker down and get everything done. So I've been a pricing fool today. So I'm hoping to get more and more um, of the new stock on the website. So you will see if you go into the what's new section on the website. And actually, I'll just put this little banner up here and see, I have to do all this stuff myself today. Here we go. Um, so if you... Uh, go to my website and go into the what's new you'll be able to see all the new things that i have brought in so i'm going to show you um, some new um, beads and a couple findings today um, um some restocks that i know that you're going to be excited about because you guys went like crazy last time <laughs> i had them and then um I MacGyvered, that's what I called them. I was telling Lori beforehand, um, cause she's really good at my MacGyvering jewelry. She'll create things like, um, she's the one that MacGyvered those deer head earrings. And I just kind of like, you know, perfected them a little bit, but she's really good at kind of, you know, doing things that are completely not something that she's comfortable with. She just goes for it. And um, so I kind of MacGyvered a pair of earrings yesterday and they are the cutest damn things. I, I said, dang, I didn't swear. Um, <laughs> They're just so cute. And I think they have lots of possibilities. So I'll be showing you those at the end. Uh, so make sure you stick around for that. So I'm just seeing if there's anything. So, okay, I won't be able to look at the comments as much today because I don't have my second set of eyes. And the one pair of eyes that I do have, I can hardly see over there. And then when I put on my reading glasses so that I can see what I'm doing, I can't see the screen. <sighs> I'm trying to get used to this whole eyeball thing, but it's driving me crazy. So uh, is anybody having problems with this live stream? I will tell you that if I um, sort of seize up or something happens, um, I will um, end the broadcast and, and come again, start again, because um, uh, we had this snowstorm and I reset our uh, internet just before I started because I'm in a really remote lo location and so the internet isn't always great anyway. Throw on it um, a really heavy trees covered in snow that might crack and if you hear this big boom it's because I have a metal roof here and the snow is slowly sliding off of it and so my husband said you're going to hear a big boom. And right before I, I just kind of came down from having some lunch and I can see it hanging over the edge. So it's likely going to just, you know, go kaplat. So, um, oh, the stream is good. Okay. Well, so sometimes it's on other, other the other end too, right? So anyway, I'm going to uh, switch you down so that you can see the other camera here. 
And I'm going to show you some of the new things that I got in and that I actually managed to get done in the last 24 hours because I've been so darn busy. I haven't had a chance. So um, let me just throw you down here. So if anybody um, has questions and um, I don't get around to answering them, uh, hold them until the end when I come back and I can actually read them or maybe one of my fine people that are watching can answer for me because, you know, I can't always do that. So. Let me see if I can go there. All right. So I'm a little bit off center today, but um, that's just the way it has to be. So, all right. So the very first thing that I have that we just got back in stock, and these are really beautiful. These are four millimeter faceted iolite. And iolite is a really beautiful, um, I wouldn't say it's a rare uh, stone, but it's a really expensive stone. And this four millimeter faceted, is just so, so pretty. Um, this one is only $23.99. And as always, you get 50% off on our, any of our semi-precious without any coupons or any minimums or anything like that. So this would make one of those, you know, the, the little tiny bracelet uh, thing is all the rage right now. So let's see if I can get back into, um, there we go. Um, the little tiny bracelet rage, you know, is, is uh, really strong right now. So these would be perfect in something like that or just a little delicate necklace. So the code on these are uh, BBB056, and they're a four millimeter faceted iolite. I've had people telling me that I need to slow down because I go too fast. So <laughs> I'm going to try to slow down. <laughs> Is this one of your favorites, Lori? It's, it's mine too. You know, um, when I go to Tucson in February, that is one of my things. I'm just trying to get these so you can see them better is I'm going to try and secure more of the four millimeter faceted because they really are uh, a beautiful um, cut and they're just so delicate. And this iolite is so pretty. So there you go, BBB056. Okay, I have to figure out where I'm gonna put these so that I don't crush them. And these are a mistake that came in, but I'm kind of happy that they came in even as a mistake. I had ordered these and faceted, but they came in as round but I think they're really pretty. So this is a four millimeter peridot and we usually carry this in the faceted, but this is just a, a plain round. Let's see, I'll get it back into camera, Kelly, to try that a little better. And um, this one is a BBB 504. And these are a little bit more spendy because peridot is a, a bit more expensive stone. This one is $27.99, but again, you get their 50% off. But isn't that pretty? Such a gorgeous green. I love that. So that one is BBB 504. So lovely. And I think I only have um, 20 strands of each of these. I will get them in again, but I kind of, you know, broke the bank when I was shopping. So I, um, I can only order sometimes just 20s and 30s of strands. So now we can, this is a staple that we carry, but we got it back in and this is a really lovely um, batch. Sometimes, you know, things come in and the batches aren't quite the same, but this is the four millimeter BC Jade. So it's kind of funny because BC Jade is mined not too far from here. It's up in the, well, probably, I don't know what, Lori, what did you think? About seven to 10 hours north of us. It's up, up country, they mine the uh, BC Jade. Then it is shipped all the way to China to be um, uh, made into the round stones because they have the factories back there. And then it comes all the way back to, to Canada. <laughs> so I think that's why it's so darn expensive. Yeah, it's up north somewhere, isn't it? Um, so this is a beautiful stone. So this is a four millimeter rounded BC Jade. Now, this is one of the ones that I've just lowered the price a little bit. It used to be $31.99 and now it's $27.99. And the code is AAA531. So, you know, some of some things I'm only look, be, um, able to, or sorry, get my mouth to work here. Uh, some of the things I'm only able to lower the prices by a few dollars, but I figure, well, a couple bucks is a couple bucks, right? So that is a four millimeter BC Jade, always a perennial favorite. Yes, Darlene, those um, Iolite are absolutely beautiful. Okay, so um, well, last time I had these beautiful pearls that I got in and they sold out within about a week. So I ordered more and in a couple different color, colors. So this one is, um, this is their mixed, yeah, mixed color. So it's got purples and 
peach and white. And they're kind of a cool, um, they're called a, a, just a nugget pearl. They're about a six to seven millimeter. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words today because I'm just so darn tired today. <laughs> I say that all the time, but holy smokes, I'm really tired. I haven't had much sleep this week. Um, so the nice thing about these is they're, they're a little bit sort of flat on one side and then rounded on the other. So they sit really nicely. Now, if you go back way back in the archives of my um, uh, YouTube videos and you go back to September 2nd, 2019, there is a bracelet called the Classic Leather Bracelet. And we had to discontinue it because I could not get this kind of a pearl in for a while. So this would be absolutely perfect because you only need seven of the pearls and you could mix it up um, with the different colors. So go have a look at that uh, bracelet. Make sure you give me a like and leave me a comment and tell me how fabulous that bracelet is. So it, it, there's a, no more link to my website for the kit, but um, I do sort of um, mention all the things that I use on there, but have, have a look at that and you can see how you could use these. So this mixed pearl is uh, BBB456, and they're only $21.99, which is crazy for a 16-inch strand of beautiful pearls. Let me, let's see if I can show you a little bit better down here. So, Oh, thanks, Carolyn. I'm glad that you, uh, that you like that order. That's good. Aren't those pretty? So they're a nice mixed color, and they're pretty decent quality. I mean, pearls right now... If you want to get like A grade, you're going to spend, you know, two to three times this. But I think they're pretty good. Like, you know, there's some pretty nice beads in there. Like, those are just about perfect. So that's that color. And then I also got the gray back. But this batch came looking a little bit different than the last one. So that's the thing about pearls is that you never know what you're going to get. And I would say these are more along the lines. I'm just going to pop my glasses on because I can't quite see them. But I think these... She said these were six to seven millimeter, but I think these are more like a five to six millimeter. They're just a little bit smaller and they've got a beautiful luster to them with a bit of an AB sort of uh, finish. And that's a natural finish. These are not coated or anything like that. So the code on this one, I've got to take my glasses off to see that. Good Lord, I hate the whole glass thing. Uh, BBB 400 and they're again, 21.99. So super, super pretty trying to make sure you guys can see those all right and then the last one that i did manage to get in which i i think are just so pretty just a classic white and some of these are a little bit larger but again these are more around the six millimeter and this code is bbb455 and they're the nugget pearl so pearls are your best friend <laughs> or a girl's best friend <laughs> yes you know, I've never read Pearl I didn't like, Catherine. <laughs> I've always liked them. I think you and I have had that uh, uh, conversation a few times about how much I love pearls and how much you do too. Back when I had my jewelry line, I used pearls in everything. Just, it was, you know, one of those things that I liked. But back when I had my jewelry business, they were a whole lot cheaper too. So, all right. And then some of these things are restocks. Um, we finally got back in the eight millimeter large hole um, pearl, and this code is ACC101, and they're $34.99, and these are perfect for the leather uh, bracelets that I make and things like that, and they say they accommodate up to a two millimeter, but, you know, I find that, you know, it's really about a 1.5 is what you can get through there, so, but these are really nice quality. They're nice and round. Um, they're, they're pretty good quality, so... That is ACC 101, and they're just a restock. So, hey, Pat from Billings, Montana. I'm glad you got to join us today. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm having to do like down on the floor here because these beads are so far away. Now, I don't carry a ton of chips, but I do carry some because I have a lot of customers that make uh, those sort of tree of life, um, you know, like. I have one, I think I've got one, I've got a couple of them back here, but like this little, you know, little mini one that I, you might see in my backdrop. That's with like a little teeny tiny peridot that I have. It's kind of cool. Um, but this is a beautiful aquamarine. And I thought the color on this was absolutely stunning. Um, the numbers on the uh, nugget pearls on their BBB456, BBB400 and BBB455. Those are the three different codes on the pearls there, Trudy. 
So I just got these in. I've this to see. Uh, these are fifteen ninety nine, and again, you'd get them for half price. So for eight dollars, you get uh, one of these strands. Now, the nice thing about chip strands. See if I can, they're still bound up. We haven't even had a chance to take care of them, but it, they're long, they're like a double strand. So that's not just one, that's a whole, or that is one, but it looks like a double strand. So you're getting really super great value. And this is BBB055 and they're aquamarine chips. Aren't they pretty? Look at the gorgeous aquamarine there, so nice. So it's kind of a nice mixed tone. And um, there's a lot of really cool, if you go into Pinterest, there's a lot of really cool, uh, gemstone chip jewelry and also projects like those little trees i also make a um pendant that i was i was skimming through some of my old pictures yesterday and i found this uh, pendant and i thought oh i should probably do a live on that or do one maybe not a live because it's kind of time consuming but maybe i'll do a video on it so haven't done that in a while kind of nice eh? so yes uh, for one strand yes <laughs> Now this was a customer request. I have a lovely customer back in, I think she's in Nova Scotia and she loves the Aqua Aura. And this was a mistake that I'd been sent the first time because the Aqua Aura that I carry is, um, is the matted one. But this one came and it wasn't matted and she liked it so much she said, can you get it back in again? So I did. So this one is BBB076. And this is one of the things that I've recently lowered the prices on. So this is an eight millimeter blue aura quartz and it was $24.99 and it's now only $14.99. And again, you would get half off that. So for $7.50, you could get this beautiful aura quartz. Now aura quartz, I do believe is um, where they take this, uh, I don't know if Lori's on, maybe she remembers. She's the one that could tell everybody all these things because I never remember, but it is a quartz, but they've um, added something on the outside to make that sort of color. It's like a gold overlay or something like that, but um, they're beautiful quality. So the code on that is BBB076 and they're only $14.99. So super pretty. I'll try and get them a little bit cl closer to the uh, camera there. Super nice, huh? So yeah, I wasn't going to carry those, but that was a customer request. So you guys ever, oops, sorry for the noise. I'm trying to drop these down. Um, if you guys ever want anything, just let me know. I, I always do try to bring them in. So now if you um, are familiar with our rose quartz, you may not have seen that a really popular rose quartz right now is the Madagascar rose quartz. And that's what this is. You can see it looks a little different than regular rose quartz. It's got sort of a really nice um, milky tone to it. It's a little, um, not white, it's just milkier. It's a milkier pink and it's absolutely beautiful. And the reason that this is a little more expensive is because it is actually mined in Madagascar. So it's a little more on the rare side. They say that once it's gone, it's gone. It's not one of those things that we will have forever and ever. So this one is the six millimeter rose Madagascar quartz or Madagascar rose quartz, I guess is the way you say it. And this code is uh, ADD009 and it's $22.99. And again, you would get that for uh, like 1150 or whatever. So that is the six millimeter. And then I also have that in eight millimeter and every batch that comes in is a little different looking so sometimes it's really rosy sometimes it's just really sort of milky pink and that's the um eight millimeter and that is add 011 and it's 26.99 so this is a very very popular um strand we usually sell out of it fairly quick i guess people like it because it's just a little bit different than regular rose quartz Okay, now the other thing that was a restock, because you guys all went crazy and bought it all up right away, was this absolutely gorgeous selenite that we got in. Look at how pretty that selenite is. I'll just roll it back into the frame there. Isn't that stunning? Such beautiful quality. The first time we got it in, all my staff were like, oh my gosh, I've never seen anything look so pretty like that. The selenite often comes and it's just a kind of a one note, but this has got that beautiful sort of, I don't even know what it's called, but it's just like a banding on there that's so beautiful. And we were really crossing our fingers this time, hoping this batch was going to be as beautiful as the first batch. And it is. So this is um, eight millimeter selenite. 
And the code is ABB827, and they are $34.99. And again, you would get your 50% off of that. No coupons, no codes, nothing like that. You just pop them into the shopping cart and they automatically reduce to 50% uh, off that. It kind of does look a little bit like cat's eye. I was worried that people would think it looked cheap because of that. But it, you can see like some of the stones are just... Cat's eye always looks really cheap because you can tell it's man-made, but these are all sort of irregular. So you can, they're not like um, uniform like cat's eye would be. They're just so beautiful. And if it, these, if you hold them up outside, like it's so sunny outside today, and if you hold these up out in the sun, oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So those ones are the ABB827 for the 8 millimeter selenite. So gorgeous, love those. And another one that we got back in stock is actually on my wrist. Um, we haven't carried it for a little while. I don't know what the code is, but if you go under uh, terahertz, uh, we just got this back in stock, the eight millimeter terahertz that we use for our, this one bracelet here. But um, we just got that back in. I just thought about it because I'm wearing it. I thought, oh, I should show that. Okay, um, this is new. This is the six millimeter rainbow phantom quartz, kind of an unusual strand. I actually was wearing a bracelet and somebody said, can you get that in, in a bead? So I decided to bring it in in the bead. So this has got all different kinds of colors in it. It's got reds and whites and greens and browns and such a pretty stone. It's very, very unique. You don't see that very often out in the um, world of beads. And uh, I mean, like some of these have just the coolest, look at that one there. It's just got the coolest colors in it. So this one is uh, BBB 130 and it is $22.99. So that's a six millimeter uh, phantom, a uh, rainbow phantom quartz. So there we go. I'm just gonna put these back. Sorry for the racket, put them back on the table. Now we have carried this before. But this is a new batch and a little bit different than the last batch. And this is the eight millimeter. But these have come way down in price. I have a new vendor and she gives me really good pricing. So I do pass that on. So the code on this is BBB121. And this is the eight millimeter rainbow phantom quartz. The old price was $44.99. And now I've got them down to $25.99. And again, you would get them at half price. So... These ones are exceptionally beautiful. I'm just going to pop my glasses on so I can see the colors a bit better. But this, like, look at this one here. This has got like sort of a, you know, a beautiful uh, russet color in it. There's, you know, sort of a peachy kind of color. There's just everything in this. There's greens and like a raspberry. This one is, it looks like moonstone. So beautiful. So this is the um, rainbow phantom quartz. Very unique, uh, a really cool looking stone. So that is BBB121. Isn't that pretty? So nice. Okay. Now, this is the one that you guys all went nuts for last time. So I thought, well, I better haul it out and show it again. I'm just going to move my uh, paperwork here. So this cornflower aquaterra jasper, literally, it was gone within 24 hours. And I had so many people be disappointed because it was gone. So I have, I think I brought back maybe 40 strands of each, and then I'll have to order them again, I'm sure. So this is the six millimeter, and this is ABB958, and even better than last time, I've lowered the price again. So these were $22.99, and I've lowered this down to only $16.99, and you get half price on that. So this is ABB958, and that's the six millimeter cornflower blue Aquaterra Jasper. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know why. It just I guess maybe because we were gushing about it last time. But you guys just went nuts and it was all gone. We had a little bit of the six left over. But um, they were gone as soon as people realized you couldn't get an eight. And then I got the eight in. Oh, just going to make some noise here. So there's the ones that you guys really loved. So the nice thing about this is they too are all different colors. So they're all not all just one note. You don't just get them all looking like that. They've come with all sorts of different tones in them. Really, really lovely. And this uh, code is ABC005. And these were $26.99. And I've lowered the price down to $18.99. Uh, 
So was that 950 for a strand of these with your 50% off? So really good deal. I'm trying really hard, everybody, to keep my prices as low as I can. I know how tough it is out there. And I know how much everybody loves beads. And I want to do my part to try and make sure that you can get those beads at an affordable price. So, all right. So I do, I, I do lower with them when I can. Unfortunately, some things have gone up. But, okay. So I have a few other things that I'm going to show you here. And then we'll get on to making the project. So I did get a whole pile of new findings and other little beads. Strand sizes are always about 16 inches. Um, they're generally around there, somewhere between 15 and 16. It just depends on the manufacturer. So let's see, I'll put these in my hand. I should probably have like a little display thing. Maybe I'll put them here so you can kind of see. These I called an Aztec bead. They're about a 10 millimeter. They're just a metal bead. So they've just got a, a regular hole just going through the each end. And I just thought they kind of looked like a Mayan sun or something like that. And that's a nice antique bronze. And these are in our $5 findings. And the code on this one is BBB445. And you get two, four, six, eight of them for $5. And if you buy more than three packages of any combined, you don't have to buy the same ones. You get them for $4. So I don't know if that's showing up so well. I cannot see with them. Oh, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Uh, Susan, I don't. <laughs> but I've been working around bees for so many years that um, I don't get too crazy, but my staff sure do. <laughs> they come in and they'll just be like drooling over all of them. And I hear a lot of, I have to buy that. And oh, I've got to have that one. And this one's coming home with me. And <laughs> so there we go. So that is the BBB 445 or Aztec sort of Mayan sun bead. And then these are kind of fun. I just got these in, uh, in the staff that these were kind of cool. I'm just gonna pull out one of each. I think you get eight in each bag. And these are like a little tree of life bead. And I got them in two different colors, silver, antique silver and antique gold. I'm just gonna have a drink of my water while you gaze lovingly at my beads. <laughs> So these are our metal bead. They're just a metal alloy. So they have a hole that goes from the bottom to the top there. So they did actually do it properly. Sometimes they do them weird, but this one actually goes from top to bottom. So this would be a really nice little addition in a necklace, just, you know, dangle something down or maybe a pair of earrings, really pretty. And these are in our $5 findings. So you get, I think eight beads per bag and they're $5 or $4 if you buy, um, more than three. And this is BBB144. Cute, eh? Oh, those ones are kind of fun. I really scrambled this morning trying to get this all done so that I could show them to you because I literally have so much new stock and uh, no time to get any of it processed. So I made myself get it done. <laughs> I worked pretty hard this morning. Okay. So I've been asked to carry a few more. We used to carry a lot of this sort of stuff in the um, store. And um, I haven't really carried that much of it or any of it really since we moved to an online format only. And so I've had some people request things like this and I'll show it a little bit closer in a sec. But these are um, an Amazonite pendant and they, it, is a, it is dyed. They've enhanced the color and they then have um, sort of a, a I think they call like this a brassy gold kind of uh, finish on it. So this is a really nice little pendant. I can't remember the length on it, but they're really nice. Just add a little simple gold chain and you've got yourself a really nice little pendant. So the code on this is BBB453 and the, the price is $9.99 per single pendant. But they're just kind of fun. So if you like these kind of things, I will be bringing more of them in. Um, it's, I probably am going to buy a lot of them in Tucson, uh, probably some small, like, you know, little ones like that, little drops and links and things like that. But these sold so well in the store, didn't they, Lori? Everybody loved this kind of stuff. And I was a little bit nervous about selling them here. But then I thought, well, why not sell it just like in a bead store? Just buy, you guys can buy things by the singles. Like we used to have thousands of cups um, and you can still do that. So, all right. Oh, and that's what I got here. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out my own notes. I don't know what I've written down. So these are kind of fun, something a little different. 
I saw them and thought, oh, I think I might have to get them. And I think uh, Miss Faye that's watching will probably like them because she tends to like big sort of things like this. Or maybe she won't. I don't know. But <laughs> so these are an antique brass uh, pendant and they're metal. And they've got kind of a cool uh, filigree sort of, I don't know what they've done, but it's you can see through it. So it's kind of cool. And they, these are big. They're about, I think that's about 51 centimeters or millimeters. I don't know what it is in inches, but that's probably like one and a half inches, maybe by an inch. So they're large. So one of my staff members, Theo, would wear these as earrings because uh, <laughs> he loves great big huge earrings. But so you could use it as an earring, but they've got a stainless steel bail on them. So you can uh, use just one singularly uh, for a pendant. So just something really different and kind of unusual. I only have 20 of these. And the code on this is BBB452, and they're $3.99. Kind of fun, huh? I thought that would be sort of a fun thing. You could even paint that with um, some patina paints if you had that. Am I going to add any more freshwater pearls? I'm going to try, Sandra. They're getting hard to find. And when I order from China, you know, we have the language barrier. And so sometimes I will tell her what I want. And... She doesn't show me what I'm looking for and it gets frustrating. So I'll probably buy um, what I can in Tucson in February. And um, it's just that pearls are so expensive now. And, you know, people don't want to spend $45 on a strand. And unfortunately, that's what they end up being, you know, like, so I'm going to do my best. I'm going to be on a, you know, hunting mission for five solid days. So if I see anybody there, I'll just be running right by going, hi, <laughs> that's it, because I, I have so much work to do. So. All right, so these are just a little um, faceted oval red luster uh, Chinese crystal, and they come in packs of four, and they're just a little tiny one. So, you know, like the size of my ba baby um, nail, they're not very big, but I thought these would be really cute for a pair of earrings, and they've got a really beautiful luster to them. See how nice those look? And the code on this is BBB457, and they're $2.99 for a packet of four. So kind of fun. I had meant to do a, a little Christmas pair of earrings with them. And I don't think I'm going to get a chance because, you know, Christmas is coming soon. For those that celebrate, we're, what are we looking at? Three weeks after today, right? Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I didn't even remember ordering these, but um, apparently I ordered a lot of them. So this is a really nice little um, spacer. It's a metal spacer in rose gold. And this is a six by one millimeter. And I think there um, are 25 pieces. Hopefully you can see that. And they're just a nice little spacer. They've got a really good edge on them. So if you want to pop those between a bead, let's make sure you can see that. I'm trying to get that turned around there. So they make a great spacer in um, like a bracelet or any old, old thing. And you get 25 of them for either in our $5 bag findings. And the code on this is BBB458. I have lots of them. So, you know, you don't have to worry about that. I don't know why I bought so many. I looked at my invoice today and said, why did I buy so many of them? But they are nice. So I think I'm going to make a little bracelet with those because they're kind of fun. And then I also have a couple, two more things, I think, and then we'll get on to our project. So this one, I have to get out of the little bag. And of course, I need my glasses to be able to do that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, get out of there. They had these so lovingly wrapped up. So this is a little stainless steel filigree pendant. They've called it a pendant, but it's really, you know, kind of charm size. You can see how, compared to my fingers, how big it is. But it's a nice, um, it's, so it is stainless steel, but it's in a nice gold finish. Well, let's see if, I know that is not looking very good. Maybe there. It's hard for me to see how, where to put it on there. Even that I noticed when Tessa took the picture, they're hard to get a picture of because of the reflection. And it looks like there's like a mark on it, but it's just a reflection. But there, I think that's about the best I can do. So the uh, code on this is BBB459. And these are 475. So they're just a fun little thing. You could make a cute little pair of earrings. Um, to hang that with, on a little gold chain. It would be absolutely beautiful. Now, one of the things that I did mention some time ago is that we're having trouble securing um, nice... Uh, replacements for the, um, you know, that company that we're not supposed to say the name, the crystal company that I don't like anymore. Um, we're having a hard time getting a, a nice uh, bicone or anything like that to replace what 
that you know gap in the market. But I think that what I've got now is pretty good. So these are a Preciosa crystal. And this one is the six millimeter uh, tanzanite. And so you get uh, 12 beads for $2. So it's just a small little bag. So you don't have to buy great big strands or anything like that, or factory packs or any of that kind of stuff. So if you go into um, under beads and then go to check glass and then do the drop down to find uh, Preciosa beads, you'll see all of the ones that we're starting to carry. So as soon as I get them, I throw them on there because they've been really hard to come by. So I know it's probably hard to see that in really good quality, but I just wanted to point those out because I was actually putting the stickers on right as I went live because they've been sitting there in a, a box for a little bit. So that is one of the new Preciosas. We, I just added four to the website. So, okay, so I'm just going to grab a little mat here um, and just put it on here because it'll make it easier for doing this project, I believe. I'm going to have a short slurp of my water. You like those amazonite ones? <laughs> yes, you. I knew that you would wear those. Oh, your order's ready, by the way. I have. I keep forgetting to let you know, but I figured you knew that it's ready, right? <laughs> okay. So I have a fun little project today. It's just a real quick sort of, you know, macgyver kind of project. But I thought it looked kind of fun. So I'm going to be using some uh, five millimeter leather. I've got a Tierra Cast ear wire, and I've got one of the new Tierra Cast uh, thistle charms, which I absolutely love. And I have one of their little um, five millimeter Heishi nuggets, and I'll give you the codes on all of these things after, I think. Maybe not this. I don't know if I know that off the top of my head. And we're going to be using some uh, 20 gauge uh, titanium colored wire, and uh, we're going to be using a little bit of... Uh, Loctite super glue. Yeah, I think they have come a long way with their uh, their colors on the um, Preciosa for sure. I know that they they have to. They've got a there because there's a, a gap in the market, so they they're going to come up with some stuff. So, all right. And what else am I going to be using? So on this one, I am going to be using an awl. Now, the reason I'm using an awl is I would normally use. Um, a hole punch, but I know that not everybody has a hole punch. So I wanted to try something, show you something different and give you some alternatives on how to make this. And we're going to be using our regular four tools today, our bent chain nose pliers, our round nose pliers, our chain nose pliers, and a pair of cutters. All right. So what I have here now, I was telling Lori beforehand, we were chatting just before I went live. Uh, Lori works here. You see her on there, Lori Linklater. And um, I was telling her that I literally MacGyvered this pair of earrings. And I'm, I'm not usually a MacGyver. I'm very precise on my things. But I was having fun just coming up with something a little bit different. So I hope you like this one. It's kind of different. So now this is about, it's just under three and a half. It's somewhere between like it's maybe three and three eighths um, inches of our five millimeter leather. This is our flat leather. And I need to have a hole on each side, but I didn't want a great big huge hole. And not everybody has, like I said before, not everybody has hole punches. I have leather hole punches and all sorts of punches here, but I thought, well, you know what? Almost everybody has something sharp, either a darning needle or an awl or anything that you can use to punch a hole. So we just don't want a very big hole, but I just have to throw my glasses on. Can I do something with colored wire? I don't really use or sell colored wire, unfortunately. So it's not my, not really my thing, but um, I mean, I use antique brass, is that colored? <laughs> All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna make a hole right about here. So you can see, I don't know if that'll come up on there, but I've just kind of punched a little hole with my awl. So what I'm gonna do is push this through. Now I'm not going to put my fingers behind here because I don't want to have this push through. So I am going to, I mean, I do want it to push through, but I don't want it to push on my fingers. So I'm going to hold my leather on either side and just kind of go back and forth until I get it to pop through. So it does take a little bit of wiggling. So if you have a small pair of um, like a hole punch that maybe does a 0.5 hole would work, if you had a big darning needle, um, anything you can just to kind of get a, a hole through here. I just wanted to show you that there are alternatives. There's things that you can do. 
So I'm gonna try and stick this through. I need, uh, you know what I'm gonna use is my, my book here. I don't wanna push into my table. So it does help if you have something to push against. So there, gotta push down. I just didn't want it, you know, push into my table. And then I'm just gonna kind of keep working that. So now you can see the end is coming through. And then once I get that through, I can turn it around and come from the back side and then work my way through. So I'm just trying to make a little hole. Now you do have to be careful. You can see how I'm putting my thumb on here versus my nail. Uh, on the sample I made yesterday, I put a nail mark on this leather. Cause if you push down, you'll end up with a, a nail mark. So that's what I want is just a little, I don't know if that's showing up, but it's just a little hole there. There you can see that when I pull that away. So yeah, a nail and a hammer would work. Anything that you can use at home. So. You know, my Wednesday tutorials are more about, um, let's see what we can create. And, you know, I wanna give you guys some alternatives because not everybody can afford to have all of the tools. When I first started making jewelry, I literally bought every darn tool. And when we were moving the store, the girls were like, oh my gosh, look at all the tools you have. So I gave away a lot of them to the girls because I, know, I just didn't want them anymore. I have a pair of, um, not a pair, I have a set, a complete set of Fretz hammers. And I think each hammer is what, about 70 or $80. And they have sat untouched. I'm such a ding dong. But you know, I was just crazy. I had to have them all. So, but sometimes people can't afford that. So I wanna give you an alternative. So I've got a hole on one end and a hole on the other. And I've just gotten in like, not even quite a quarter of an inch. So what I would do is if you're gonna make this yourself, I would um, buy about seven inches of leather and cut it in half. And you wanna make sure each end is nice and um, flat. Like, so if you have to do any trimming off, you know, you wanna make sure it's flat, like it doesn't have a be beveled edge or anything. And I would make each piece exactly the same so that when you make your earring, it will look the same. Now, of course they say what your ears and your earrings are supposed to be sisters and not twins. So don't worry about all those little details too much. Okay. So now I have to remember what I was doing with this. So I cut some wire and I think I had about six inches. And what did I do? Let's see, I have to remember cause you know, sometimes I make these things and I have no idea how I made them. So, okay. So I'm gonna go down about, I don't know, an inch and a half to two inches. And I'm gonna put it, my wire between my uh, pliers and I'm using just a 20 gauge titanium. You could use any color, but that's what I'm using today. Uh, these charms come in four different colors, so you could use uh, antique copper, antique brass, uh, or the gold, right? So I'm going to bend away, and then I'm going to make just a little loop. I don't want a huge loop because I don't want this to hang too far down, so I'm going on the smaller end of my round nose pliers, and I'm going to go up and over and down, open up my tool, and rotate those pliers, and then pull that to the back, and then just make sure that's kind of up on top. I want a nice look like that. And then I'm going to put the end, the, the short end through my little uh, thistle charm here. And then I'm going to turn it over so the long end is to the left and I'm going to wrap it up. But on this one, I'm only going to wrap twice. Again, I don't want this to hang down too far. So I'm just sort of looking at my sample to see what I did because I want to make sure that I mirror them a bit. So I went down twice and then I'm gonna go back up twice. So it's giving us that bulky look, but I'm not gonna end up with a big long neck there, okay? So then I'm gonna take my cutters and just give that a little trim. I'll try to get that a little trim, there we go. And then if we've got a little burr there, I'm just gonna tuck that down a bit. Okay, so this is what we've got happening so far. See, like, am I on camera there? <laughs> you like MacGyvering jewelry? <laughs> Sweet. Well, you know, it's a, it's a brave new world for me. Uh, I'm not usually into the whole MacGyvering thing, but this was kind of fun. Okay, so I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to completely mirror this, and I think I will. And I'll show you um, how I did that. Let's see. No, I want this one to be on top instead this time. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to go through the left side with my... A wire and then I'm going to, and don't worry if you bend your wire because you can fix it again. And then I'm going to come through the other side and then that's going to go, it's going to make sure I did that. Did I do that right? 
yeah there we go so you can see what's happening now let me get in frame here so now the reason i did it like this is because i want it to be mirrored to the other one so that they, they will look like um you know a set and i can see that one looks a little bit different than the other but again they're not supposed to be identical and i think the difference on them is that i went over a little bit further on the hole punch so when you if you want to make these by yourself what you would do is um you know just make sure that you're being careful like you know um matching them up okay so this is where i had to macgyver a little bit because i didn't like the way that it sat so i'm using a super uh, the loctite super glue and i'm going to put a little bit here and then i don't want to use too much i'm going to push this down and I'm going to use, what have I got here? I'm just gonna grab a little piece of paper or something and sort of remove any excess that I've got there. I don't want any excess. And then I'm literally gonna take my pliers and push that together. And we're gonna have a fine little chat for a second. Now, the reason that I use this is, um, this kind of glue is because it dries fairly quickly. So um, normally I don't use Loctite for everything, but when I'm using it uh, with leather, it's that's when I really like it because it gets nice and uh, dry quickly. Sorry, I'm sounding like a complete bozo today. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so tired. I'm like, what am I trying to say? <laughs> what I really want to say is I'm about to close my eyes. <laughs> oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. And this one is not working out as nicely as the one that I made yesterday, just because I've got some, you know, alterations in it. It is a little different, but it'll, you'll still get the idea. So <laughs> oh, I'm just going to read the um, comments for a minute. Just going to make sure my pliers are not sticking. So the reason I'm holding this is I want it to dry and it's going to take about two minutes. So um, we'll just sit and talk for a second. Um, oh, Christina, you just finally learned how to make the wire wrap loops and simple loops. Awesome. I don't make simple loops very often because I find they open up a lot. So I, you'll see with my tutorials, I generally um, almost always make a wrapped loop. Hey, Tammy. Deborah, how are you doing? Define MacGyvering. Do not understand. MacGyvering, I don't know. What does MacGyvering mean? Didn't you never watch that show, MacGyver, uh, where he used to take, you know, like a shoelace and a, a bullet and create a a weapon with it or something you know like he was always just taking something and macgyvering it it was then macgyver so that's kind of my little catchphrase i like to use so i'm just going to check and see if this is kind of so now you can see that by just holding that for a little bit it's kind of down so if you don't glue it i'm going to put the glue uh, cap back on if you don't glue it it doesn't lay down very nicely and i just didn't like the way that that looked so now what I'm going to do is take this little nugget and put that on there. And I want to make sure that on the inside, I've got my loop going in this direction. Like I don't want to have it going in that direction because then my charm will go the wrong way. So turn it this way. And then I want to have the loop on top going opposite. So this is still oozing a little bit, but I think we can make it work. So now what I want to do is take my chain those pliers and push down on this really tight. I want that to um, push down so I have no gaps. And I'm gonna go right at the very, very end of my pliers because I don't really wanna have much of a neck, but I do wanna have a bit of one. All right, so I'm gonna bend away and then I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers again and go up and over and down, rotate, pull that to the back and I'm just, sorry if I'm off camera, I'm just trying to make sure that that does not open up. And then, does that look okay? I'm trying to be gentle, which is not my forte. I'm usually like pretty aggressive with my wire, but that's not quite set. So this isn't gonna be my best wrap, but I've got glue on my fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go down a couple and then come back up. So again, we're just sort of creating that bulky wrap. And then I'm going to give that a little trim. And then I'm going to push that little burr down. If I can get it down, everything's sticking. When I made the one yesterday, I let it dry for a few minutes and there was no problems. But you know, when you're doing something live and you're using glue, you'll always end up with problems. So now 
I don't like the way that that turned out. I probably would, you know, pull that back. I can see the end there, but it's just me. I'm super picky. So now I'm just going to take my ear wire and open that up like that and pop that on. And then I'm going to get rid of some tools and I'm just going to show you the end result. And of course, earrings always look so much better when they're hanging versus um, laying flat. But I think you can kind of get the idea with these. And I just think they're so cute. So we have our little um, thistle inside there. And then here's the one I made yesterday. And aren't they cute? So what I did when I, um, you can see that this one's overlapping just a little bit more. Let me use my little pointer here. Uh, this one I is, is overlapping just slightly about that much more than this one. So they're not exactly the same. And you can see that this, so this one hangs down a little bit less than this one. Uh, but that's one of those things that if I was making them together, I would make sure that my holes were right across from each other. And then you wouldn't have that problem. But it's because I was making, you know, I, I only made one yesterday and, and liked it so much. I thought, well, I think I'm going to show you guys how to make that. So kind of fun, huh? I thought they were just kind of cute. And, you know, just sort of different, having a little bit of leather on the outside. We carry quite a few different colors of leather, so um, you could easily replicate these. Uh, you want to use a smaller charm if uh, you are making them, um, unless you you could use a bigger charm, but you'd have to accommodate for it. So this is a, just a small charm, which will fit inside that little bit of leather that I used, which was um, about just about three and a half inches or something like that. So there we go. Cute, huh? I was actually kind of proud of myself. Sometimes I'm creating things and I go, eh, I don't really love them, but I just kind of think it's sort of fun. But there we go. Are you guys all explaining who MacGyver is? <laughs> oh, thank you. Because, you know, I don't ever know how to explain who MacGyver is. All right. I'm just going to have a little slurp of my water. You can see my glasses. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I don't feel like I'm at my best today because I'm just overtired, like I've said about 14 times. Um, so, you know, things don't always come out of my lips the way that I want with, you know, you get your brain and your lips to work at the same time when you're old. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh, yeah, MacGyver was a long time ago. When was that? Was that back in the 80s? I don't even remember, but I know, what, what was his name? Richard Dean Anderson or Dean, yeah, Richard Dean Anderson, something like that. And we all just loved him because he was so cute. And it was kind of a fun little show. So anyway, so you've probably noticed that it's just me. It's not Savannah here today. So poor little, we call her Snoop. Um, I don't know how that happened. I think, did my son call him, call her Snoop? I can't remember, but Snoop's off sick. She's, uh, she, poor little thing. She's got, she had a fever. And so Savannah was not able to join us today. So she's hopefully at home taking care of a little squirt today. And, and, and she's hoping she's going to be better by tomorrow. So, yeah, well, thanks, everybody, for uh, watching those. That was kind of fun, something a little bit quick and easy and really affordable. And anybody can make those. So always kind of fun to make something. So there is not a kit on this. But what I will tell you is um, if you want to make them yourself, you would just look under our um, leather and you would go to the flat leather to find the five millimeter flat leather. And then if you type in the word up in this search bar, type in thistle and you can find that thistle charm and we have it in four different colors. And then uh, the wire that I used was 20 gauge wire and you can use any color. I used titanium because I wanted that uh, sort of, you know, a little bit darker look. And then the little nugget that I used on the top. And the reason that I used that is I didn't want the um, wire to go down through. I wanted to give it a little bit of security up there, I guess. So the little nugget that I used is uh, code 93-0435. And that's a little TRCast five millimeter Heishi nugget. And then these are uh, TRCast ear wires. And the code on these is 90-5170. Dash oh one. I don't know if I have the 01 in my website. It might just be 90-5170. And then I used some, ooh, oh, I just got glue on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a bad week for wrecking shirts. And then a little bit of um, Loctite glue. We um, were doing our um, 
renovations in our house and I'll just hold these up so you can see. See how cute those would look with what I've got on. I think that would be cute. Yeah, look how cute those would be. I love them. I might have to. So um, we are starting our renovations in our house and it has been a nightmare. <laughs> Nothing has gone the way that it was supposed to. Things are getting delayed. We finally had to tear out our kitchen on the weekend. So I was in there um, taking off all the cupboard doors and we had granite countertops and we smashed about $10,000 worth of granite. Oh, sacrilege! But we couldn't get it out and we didn't want it anymore. And that was, it was both fun and devastating at the same time. Uh, one of the slabs of granite smashed down on my um, joint on my knuckle here and it was there was so much pressure that it burst and so my knuckle was <laughs> bleeding all over the place and then we were moving some furniture out of the house and uh, a table collapsed and I fell on top of it on the knees that I already fell on and damaged months ago and so my <laughs> my husband was out here darn near peeing himself he was laughing so hard and he's like I know I'm supposed to say are you okay but he was too busy laughing at me because <laughs> I'm like flat out on the ground and I'm like, because <laughs> I've got now big boo-boos on both shins because those both got scraped off on the front of the table as it's like all over the place. Um, our dog is not happy. She has gotten into so many things. I, I just went up for lunch and she meets me at the back door and she's got white fuzz all over her head. She's a black doodle. And I looked at her and I said, what in the world did you get into now? So I go upstairs where everything's just torn apart. And I don't even know what she got into, but it is everywhere. And of course I scolded her and she ran downstairs and she's burrowed into her other bed. So I sent my husband a text and said, she can't be upstairs. There's just too much stuff to get into. So the bathroom's all torn apart. So I have no kitchen and no bathroom. So we have a, a makeshift kitchen downstairs where I wanna just you know cry every time I have to try and cook something because I have to try and figure it out. It's not, I mean, there could be worse things to happen to a human, I know. <laughs> but it's been challenging. So there was no video on Monday because I was too busy nursing um, very sore bones. And you know, this has really been tough on my old body, I swear. Whoever said this was a good idea was dumb and that would be <laughs> So. I said to my husband, we are not renovating because we were going to renovate our entire basement after this. I said, nope, not. I'm just going to live in an ugly house downstairs. The upstairs is going to look beautiful. The downstairs is going to look awful. And I don't care because I can't do this. I just can't do this. Uh, yeah, the baby gate, we tried that. She's very tall and she jumps right over it, turns around, looks at us and goes, <laughs> I have the worst dog. The only redeeming value she has is that she's really cute. I haven't had a Christmas tree in seven years because she eats them. So I can't have any of the things that bring me joy. <laughs> and I know that if my house was to burn down and my husband had to make a decision as to who to save, he would save the dog. <laughs> That's a running joke in our, hand, in our house because my husband always says that, hmm, who would I save? So... Um, yes, Becky, I ordered my appliances in uh, January of this year, and they just arrived in October. That's how long we are waiting here. It's been really bad. Um, we're getting a new um, sliding glass door in our, well, sort of, a, it's our, we have a sort of a small upstairs, so it's a, in our dining room. We have a brand new one in there, but it doesn't work. I can't open the darn thing up. So um, we were ordering a new, <laughs> we ordered a new kitchen window and a new sliding glass door. And then we were going to order a new front door because our front door is really ugly. And it was going to be a $12,000 bill. So we had them take the front door off, but it's still like almost $7,000 for what we were getting two windows. It's nuts. And we can't get those until January. The kitchen's not going to be installed now until mid-January. So um, I'm going to be eating off of um, air fryers and uh, instant pots for the next little while. I made an instant pot stew last night that was marginal. <laughs> I miss having an oven. I miss having a kitchen, but you know, my husband MacGyvered, huh, MacGyver again, uh, something downstairs. So at least we can kind of make it function. So I'm really lucky that I have a very handy husband and uh, you know, it, it's all, it's all good. It's just, it'll give me something to talk about every week and I will whine and moan and complain. 
because <laughs> this has not been for the faint of heart. So anyway, you know, it's all good. What was I thinking, Karen? I don't know. I just thought this house is is just not my dream home at all. I, I lived in my dream home before and this house is not it. And so I thought, well, you know, we can put a little lipstick on the pig, which we did. We tried, but it just didn't, I didn't like it. So I thought, well, let's, let's do some renovations. <laughs> nope, not again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, you can't have anything because your cats. Yeah, they're bad too, aren't they? Yeah, dogs and cats and husbands, they're all bad. <laughs> So yeah, there's been a lot between doing the renovations on the um, warehouse here and then the renovations up at the house. Um, my yard looks like hobos live here because <laughs> we haven't done anything since we moved in because we've just been so busy with everything else and we just haven't had time. So, you know, life goes on. It'll all get done. Uh, I just feel like at 63, almost 64, I feel like time's getting away from me, which is kind of weird, I know, but I um, I wish I was 20 years younger doing all this. It would make it a lot easier. But um, can I make a video? Sorry, I can't read that because my eyes are so bad. For Eslon. Um, I do have some um, videos with Eslon. I think I've got probably a half a dozen of them, Susan. There's some knotted ones. I've got um, two knotted bracelets and a couple knotted necklace uh, ones with Eslon. And um, so, but yeah, maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do some more. I'll try to figure out something that's hard coming up with two projects a week right now, but I'm trying my best. Um, am I happy that I moved Barbara? Hmm. Not really. I was screaming at my husband the other night saying that I hated this house. The house is ugly and it, it's going to be cute when we're done, but I mean, it's just the two of us, so we don't need a big house, but um it's just, I'm used to having a really nice home and it's, you know, I put a lot of love and effort and time into my, and so did my husband into our other home. And so this one doesn't sort of, it, it's kind of ugly. It'll be nicer looking, but it's very small. Um, I had a very big house and I don't need big, but it's just hard to get used to that. Um, I have the world's worst neighbor. Um, we've had to call all of the authorities. Um, is is just awful. Um and it's not just us, it's another neighbor too. I thought he was gonna lose his mind this weekend. We've got a, a marijuana marijuana grow operation next to us that is just disgusting. And it stinks out, out here like crazy and they leave their dog outside barking 24 hours a day. So it's noisy and it smells and I can't leave my windows open and I'm frustrated and depressed by it. And I haven't slept in weeks. So, you know, so am I happy that I moved? Yes, because I'm able to still do this because I had to close my store. I, my lease was up and I, I couldn't stay there any longer. Um, I didn't want to leave this business. I did not want to uh, not be able to do this. So I'm, I'm happy that we found a property that had something that I could utilize. Um, so I'm, I'm lucky. I guess I have to look at it that way that I have a beautiful big, I've got acreage. I've got um, a really nice neighbor on one side and I've got a beautiful stream in the back and it's lovely here, but <laughs> there's some butts. So, you know, yeah, it, it's just a terrible smell. It's just, it's, it's vile. And it's not a moral thing. I could not care less if somebody smokes it or grows it or anything. It's not about that. You do you. I don't care what anybody does with their life. It has no reflection on me, but when somebody grows something that, um, doesn't allow me to enjoy my own home, then I don't like that so much. So anyways, so what is my setup to do my dishes? Well, we had this really ugly, um, it's pretty gross, um, old, uh, sink that was in the laundry room when we first moved in here and we tore that out day one because it was ugly and my husband was going to throw it out. And then he said, Oh, I think I'm going to put it in my shop because we have lots of garages in this house. So he put it in a shop and just kind of left it there. And then when we were trying to figure out how are we going to do dishes, it was either going to be in the tiny little sink down in the um, bathroom, the only bathroom downstairs, or I was going to have to do them in the bathtub. And I was like, oh, that's disgusting. And so Rob said, well, why don't I just put that sink back in? I said, well, it's gross. So I've scrubbed a dubbed it. It still looks awful, but I've scrubbed it so that it's clean. And it's hard on the back because you have to lean way over, but I can do dishes and I can fill up jugs of water and things like that. So. I'm really glad that um, my husband's a good, you know, MacGyver. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, really? Isn't that awful? I mean, again, again, you know, 
I know that a lot of people enjoy that, uh, you know, partaking in that weed. <laughs> it's not my thing. Uh, but again, it's not, it's not a moral thing. I don't care. You, you can do whatever you want, but the smell I can't do. I just can't do. So, oh, Savannah, hi. There, there's Savannah, everybody. How's Snoop doing today? Is she feeling better? So, oh, you had it. Oh, okay, Sandra. I see. I'm just reading yours. Oh, okay, you've got acreage too. Yeah. Well, a lot of these acreages come with little houses, so I don't need a big house. You know, I'm just being a baby. So, <laughs> yeah, there are not going to be very many bead stores left. Um, it is. Uh, they've all closed recently. There's three out in the area here that have closed um, in the last little bit, and um, people are upset. But between um, rents and the cost of doing business and um, I'm, she's sleeping beside you. Aw, well, hopefully she's doing okay. We miss you, miss you here today. Um, so yeah, it was just, you know, I've, I've explained it a few times. There's a lot going on in business and it's getting harder and harder for people to stay in business. And so some of us have had to make that hard choice. And I know it doesn't make everybody happy, but um, anyway, that's the way it is. And that's why I'm doing lives and I'm hoping to engage with you more and bringing in new things and showing them to you instead of just having them on the website, because I'm hearing from all of you that you really enjoy uh, seeing things a little bit more up and close, up close and personal uh, instead of um, just online. Right. So. There you go. That's what we're hoping to do. So once Snoop is better, Savannah will be back and she can give me a hand. And uh, so that's all we've got going on here today. So oh, <laughs> you wash them when you're in the bathtub? Well, you know, I guess you could wash the dishes while you're having a shower. <laughs> oh, why are all the bead stores closing? Because it's impossible to do business anymore because the um, competition online uh, people buying and not selling properly priced things online and people give stuff away and it's, it just, it killed business. It really did. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of our vendors decided that it was appropriate to start selling to our customers, which has made it even harder. And uh, rents are ridiculous. Mine was almost $7,000 a month. And I pay my staff close to a living wage here, which in the lower mainland is a fair amount of money for a, a small business to have. Uh, to pay out. And it's not that I have to, I want to, I want to pay my staff properly. I just gave them big raises, um, but it's still not enough money for them to live on here. It's crazy. So um, yeah, like Lori's saying, that's a lot of beads to survive. It was uh, some days um, people would come in and, you know, take two hours of our time and then say, oh, I'm going to go buy that on Amazon. Thanks. <laughs> so there's a lot of reasons why stores are closing. The, the two other local stores that just closed were because of um, leasing issues again. That's the biggest thing is that corporations are coming in and buying up the um, whole uh, block and then they're tripling people's rent and things like that. So it's really sad. Um, people are having to um, just like all of a sudden at the last minute, at least I had time. So it's happening all over the place. So if you are lucky enough to have a bead store close to you, Please uh, do your very best to pop in once in a while and throw some of your dollars at them. Um, tell them how much you appreciate them. And the best way you can do that, even if you don't have any money, is go on to their social media. Uh, you can do that on mine too. Um, go on to social media and like their um, any of their posts. Uh, make sure you go to their YouTube channels, their Instagrams, and um, just uh, leave comments and um, you know that kind of stuff. That's all free. And that helps um, all of us stay relevant and out in the in the world of the big world of beads. So, um, yeah, it's flower shops are happening. The th same thing is happening here for a lot of stores. I just noticed one of the local flower shops closed down. So it's crazy. It's everywhere. So anyway, I've kept you guys long enough today. We've we've been at this for a bit. So, again, these are the little earrings we made. I think they turned out so cute. They're lots of fun and I hope you try them. So everything's really slow on sales right now. Um, Christina, it don't, don't, if you've got an Etsy store, if you've got a, some kind of a business, um, just hold your breath. Don't spend a lot of money right now and do your best because um, it's very slow. I haven't had, I think I've had one order today. <laughs> one, one order. That's craziness. Um, so it's really hard to run a business right now. Um, I, I never know what's going to happen. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I've learned how to roll with the punches and you just kind of do what you can. 
and hope for the best. And it's a crazy time for a lot of people. So, all right, everybody, I'm just looking to see if there's anything I need to uh, address, but I don't think so. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. I will try very hard to get a, a video out on Monday, but you know, uh, with the renovations, I'm pretty busy all weekend. So if not, then I will at least come in on Wednesdays and do a live and show you some more products and um, maybe a new project and all those things. So thanks again, everybody. And make sure if you um, have not been to my YouTube channel, please go there and uh, subscribe to the channel and give the posts a like and um, all that good stuff because it really does help. So we will see you as soon as we can. So go off and make yourself some fabulous jewelry today and have yourself a good day. All right. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.